Before you can start editing footage together in iMovie, you of course have to get that footage into your iPad somehow. So in this chapter, we'll take a look at several ways to import video into your iPad. One of the easiest ways is to shoot video with the iPad's built-in cameras, which eliminates the need to import video from another source. Now, there are two ways in which you can shoot the video for your project. You can shoot with the iPad's camera app, or you can shoot directly in iMovie. Let's take a look at both methods, starting with the camera app. As you're probably aware, the iPad has two cameras, one in the back and one in the front. If you want the highest quality video, be sure to use the rear-facing camera, since it's an HD camera that shoots at 720p, while the front-facing camera is only VGA quality, shooting at 640 by 480. So I'm going to keep my rear camera selected. Now, when you're shooting with your iPad, try to always shoot in landscape orientation like this. While you can shoot in portrait as well, that orientation can look strange when viewing your movie on a TV or a computer screen, and if you have a combination of landscape and portrait footage, your portrait footage is going to have black bars on either side of it when you're viewing it on a widescreen aspect ratio. So always try to shoot in landscape. Now to shoot your video, make sure you have the camera switched to video mode. Note on the iPad that the control bar is always at the bottom of the screen when you're recording. This lets you know that you're not shooting footage sideways by accident. Now I will show you how to rotate footage in iMovie later, but it's always better to shoot it the right way from the start. Also, note where the camera is on the back of the iPad. You'll probably want to rotate your iPad so the camera is at the top when you're shooting, because it's more comfortable to hold the iPad at the bottom, and you don't want your fingers accidentally covering the camera when you're recording. And for that matter, make sure you're not covering the microphone either, which is located at the top of the iPad here. Okay, so let's shoot some video. Now, if necessary, you're going to want to tap the portion of the image where your subject is to make sure the iPad exposes that area properly. You should also double tap the screen to make sure you're seeing what you're recording in its entire widescreen view. So when you're ready to record, just tap the record button. Here we go. And when you're done, just tap the record button again. And that's all there is to shooting video with the camera app. I can review what I just shot by tapping the thumbnail in the lower left-hand corner here. Okay, so that's how to shoot with the camera app. Let's go to iMovie now. To record an iMovie, you have to have a project open, so let's create a new project. We'll talk more about creating projects in the next chapter, but for now, I just need to have one open so I can show you how to record a video. Notice the video I just shot is already available here for me to use. And that's why I prefer shooting with the camera app. Any footage you shoot is available for all your iMovie projects. Video you shoot in iMovie, however, is only available in the project you have open when you record. If you want to use that footage in another project, you have to first export that footage to your iPad's camera roll. But okay, let's shoot some video in iMovie. I'm going to tap the camera icon. And now we see the exact same interface we saw in the camera app. And it works exactly the same way as we just saw. Notice it's already switched to video recording mode. So again, I'm going to double tap the screen so we're looking at this in widescreen. And just as before, we're going to tap the record button to record. So here we go. And when you're done, tap the record button again. Now, here in iMovie, you're given the chance to review what you just shot. You can tap the play button to give it a look. Now, if it's a long video, you can drag your finger along the thumbnails at the top of the screen to review the important sections. If you're not happy with it, you can tap retake to discard what you just shot and try again. If you do like what you've recorded, tap use. Notice that places the video in the timeline right away. So this video is now the first clip in my project. The clip also appears here in the video browser. But again, it's only available in this project. If I were to create another project, I wouldn't see this clip in here. So again, to use the video you shoot in one iMovie project in another project, you have to export that clip to your iPad's camera roll. To do so, tap the Edit button. That puts this blue folder icon on your clip. This icon will appear next to any clips you shot inside iMovie. Tap that button and that moves it to your camera roll. Now, it doesn't affect the project I'm working on, it just makes the clip available to all other projects. Notice if I go back to my photo library, 
the clip is available in here. Okay, so those are the two main ways you can shoot footage with your iPad either through the camera app, which makes the footage available to all iMovie projects since the footage is automatically saved to your camera roll, or through iMovie, which automatically adds the footage into the project you're currently working on.